Hi guys, welcome back to a new series that I've done on my channel, Pajama Talk. So this is episode two of this new series I've made up called Pajama Talk, where I basically talk about subjects that you guys tweet me with using the hashtag Pajama Talk. Is that the hashtag? I can't really remember, but... Or did I even do a hashtag? I don't know, but I'm gonna make up a hashtag now. Hashtag pajama talk. So that if you guys want me to talk about anything, you can use the hashtag pajama talk and I'll be here. Hello darkness, my old friend. So yeah, that's what is gonna be going down today. And this jump part, I just thought I'd show you guys it in case if you guys are wondering where it's from. It looks like this. I don't really know what it says on it. I haven't really read it, but it has an eagle and then the American flag. And it says something like there as well. And it's just really baggy. And I've just been loving like baggy tops, baggy jumpers, anything baggy. Loving it. I would start off by having a little chat about a event that I recently went to. I know that the last pajama talk was all about the shout event, but I recently went to the Stand Up Cancer event. I actually went yesterday when I filmed this. I'm not too sure when I'll be uploading this, but I went on the Saturday and it was so cool. It was awesome because it was so cool to be part of, obviously, an amazing campaign. And Roxy was there, you guys know we love Roxy, Roxy's like our big sister. And uh, Anastasia was also there, it was really lovely to meet up with her, especially it's just been her birthday, I really wanted to see her. And um, we also met Saffron, we never met her before, she was lovely. We also met Zubby who is in my management team and just a couple other people. There was also um, a couple really big YouTubers there such as Joe Sugg, uh, Casper Lee was there. Ollie White was there, Jim Chapman was there, it was awesome and we actually got a photo with Jim, he was so lovely. And we also met um, Marina Joyce, oh my gosh, I was quite nervous to meet her, She's, she is quite um, talked about in like news and stuff and she has been recently, so I was really nervous like to meet her when I heard that she was going to be at the event, but Roxy already met her before, so like Roxy introduced us to her and she is so sweet like she was so lovely like she wore these big angel wings and then like these shoes that like um change colors and she was honestly so lovely uh if you guys saw um the live stream because it was all live streamed and it, it was so cool like i had so much fun <laughs> and we raised a lot of money for it as well so that's really cool should i give you guys like, a mini haul because in case you guys don't know this i'm going to new york uh in basically a week i'm going not this Monday, but next Monday. So the first the first proper day of the October half term. I'm going on the Monday and I'll come back on the Friday. I'm so excited. So I've had to go to Primark and buy a few things. I got this scarf and it's reversible. So one half is this pattern and then the other half is this pattern. And I can't remember how much it was. I think it was around seven pounds. Then I got these gloves from Primark and they're really cool. They've got like fur on the ends of them and they're furry inside. These were only like a fiver. So I got this bobble hat, which was only three pounds and it's just got this big fake fur bobble. It's so cute. I love it a lot. And then I got these sweatpants for the plane journey and they're just black and they're cuffed and then they've got like a white strip on the side of them eight pounds and then the last things i got were these black timberland looking things these were 12 pounds and i'm obsessed oh, i thought i wasn't filming then another thing that was like really really requested when i asked you guys on twitter what you wanted me to talk about was clowns that was probably the most requested um, subject was clowns, so let's chat about them. I never had, like, when people ask me, oh, what's your biggest fear? Like, I would never say clowns. Like, I always say um, sharks. That's my biggest fear, sharks. Um, I would never really say clowns because I don't find clowns that scary, to be honest with you, because I just feel like with clowns like there's always someone behind the mask like it's not an actual clown like it's literally just a man or a woman behind a mask like i don't know i just don't find it that scary but recently this i'm not scared has increased due to the fact that there are so many like killer 
killer clowns around and it scares me now i don't know i don't know what i would do if i saw a clown i think i would run well i don't know yeah i think i would just like be in shock and then i would like leg it i would just run absolutely leg it but i feel like when halloween's over all of the clown stuff will be over i feel like it's just kind of going on because it's Halloween very soon, but after Halloween and you get the Christmas spirits going, I feel like the clowns will go. I don't really see the point of it. I don't know, I just don't really see the point of what they're doing, to be honest with you, but I'm not here to judge. Oh, I missed out something in my haul. I got this um, thing that goes around your neck from Primark. Primark? I got this from Poundland. I don't know if they're actually that comfy to be honest with you but do you guys want me to vlog in new york because i'm thinking about vlogging i love 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 it oh so good it hurts i don't want it i got got heavy oh if i can't find the words to just go do 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 where's my phone I hope you enjoyed this new pyjama talk. Make sure that you ask me some more questions using my hashtag pyjama talk. And I love you all so, so much. And I will see you all in my next video.